Hello everyone and welcome. In this demonstration, we will be focusing on running all the microservices. We have the Eureka server, the auth demo microservice, three greeting services which greets you with good morning, good afternoon and good evening and finally the Zool gateway. So we will be running all these services. We will start with the Eureka server. All we have to do is we will add the dependency to the POM file annotate the main application with at enable Eureka server and we are all set to go. Let us open IntelliJ and start running the Eureka server. Now you can see all the six services here. Now let us start with the discovery server that is the Eureka server. We will check on the POM file. We, we are having the dependency added here. Now we will go to the main using the at enable Eureka server annotation and in the resource file I'll go to application.properties okay the port number is 8761 which is the default port number for Eureka now let us run this application it has started on port 8761 let us go to the browser and check for that You can see Eureka server is up and running. Now coming to the auth demo microservice, all we have to do is we have to add this dependency to the POM file, all these properties to the application.properties where I am setting the default zone to localhost 8761 Eureka. 8761 is the port number where Eureka is running. It's a default port of Eureka server. Even if you don't specify it, it is going to pick it up but let us be explicit and specify the port number you can check it out without specifying the port number now let us go to IntelliJ and start running the auth demo application which we were working in the previous session now we are having the Netflix Eureka client dependency in the POM file we will check on the main file where I put at enable discovery client annotation and in application dot properties I have given the default zone. Now let us run this application or demo application. You can see it has started. Let us open the browser and check in the Eureka server. And you can see the auth demo application running on port 8080. Now we have three greeting services. All it, we have to do is we have to put these dependencies in the POM file for all the three applications. And the application dot properties should be updated with all these three properties. Now let us go and do it and start all the three greeting services. It will greet you with good morning, good afternoon and good evening. We have controllers that returns good afternoon, good evening and good morning. We will start with the good morning service. We check on the POM file. We have put the dependency here. We check on SRC. At enable discovery client is there in application dot properties we put all the three here default zone is specified same thing with no we will check on the controller at get mapping morning message will return you good morning and then good evening Check on the POM file. We have the Eureka client here in good afternoon also. We have the Eureka client here. We'll open the good afternoon one. The controller, noon controller, and get mapping slash noon slash message will return good afternoon. 
resource file is updated in the good afternoon application you are having an enable discovery client evening controller will return in good evening we are having at get mapping slash evening slash message so let us run all these three applications Now we have all the applications running except for the Zool gateway. We'll come back to it. We'll check on Eureka server. Refresh the page. 8082-8384 and 8080. You're having the or demo application running. When it comes to Zool gateway, I specified the routes in this manner. So service ID is the name of the application which we are given in the property file and the path is a path so any anything coming with slash auth will be redirected to or demo application so Zool takes care of it so anything come with slash morning because we have put wildcards here it will go to good morning anything that comes with slash morning will be redirected to good morning same thing with afternoon and good evening so let us start the Zool gateway I'm not detailing into this Zool gateway and Eureka server and things like that because I done uh, I done a session on that. I'll put the card here. You can check for that. If you are not familiar with it, you can go through the videos which I put which I put on YouTube. Now let us open Zool gateway and the application .yaml file. Port number is 8085, application name and Zool Gateway. It's a mandatory one, so you cannot remove it. You are going to get errors. We'll detail it later. So, uh, for Eureka, I given it port 8761 and localhost. When it comes to the routes, given a name as noble security and the service id or demo anything coming to slash auth will be redirected to the auth demo microservice same with morning so let us run the application we'll check with eureka server you are having sul gateway running on 8085 so Every request should be directed to 8085. Zool Gateway is going to redirect it and get the required message. So we'll check it. When you type in 808, localhost 8085 morning, it should give you good morning. Same with evening and afternoon. We'll check it in Postman. I'll write it again. Sorry. Post message. Post request uh, localhost 8085. That's the port on which Zool is running. Auth slash token. And the key is grand underscore type password username. If you remember in the previous session, uh, the username what we are given is hello at mail.com. I'm using the same application, I'm not changing anything. The password is 123. Now, when it comes to authorization, we'll look for the basic authentic authorization. So it is client and secret. Now let me send in the request. We are getting the access token. So it is working fine. We have to see that we are sending in the request to port 8085. And the auth application is running on 8080. Zool which is running on port 8085 is redirecting all the requests and fetching the response from the auth demo application. You can see it here when you enter localhost. 
slash morning slash message. We should get good morning. Evening slash message should get good evening. Should give you a good afternoon. So everything is working fine. The soul is doing the job. Now in the next demonstration what we will be doing is we will have security sit on the gateway and without a proper authentication you will not be able to access the all the microservices. That means you will have to supply an authorization bearer token which will be the token that we will be getting here. We will have to supply it here otherwise we will not be able to access the message from these microservices. We will be seeing it in the next session. So the key takeaways are we have started all the microservices. Uh, put, put the source code on github you can go check it up. And in the next session, what as I told you, we'll be use, using auth, auth tokens to access all the microservices. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for my next video.